Hey guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. Um, so we're going to have a quick look at these um, Bitcoin and Ethereum Dominator and DMT um, indicators. Um, see what's going on today. See what's happened this weekend. So you can see the um, 15 minute DMT finally took a sell trade. Um, it pretty much sold on this dip down here as we broke through. So it did actually go um, well about just over 1% offside. Um, currently less than one percent offside so yeah um you still be in that trade um you can see the last dmt buy even if you take it from buy to sell last dmt buy buy to sell was about three percent and then i mean to be honest it pretty much went up to four percent then five percent then nearly six and then six so um depending on when you decide to get out of that trade whether you're going to run it walk it up whether you're going to take it off what are you going to do from buy to sell but either way either way it was a good trade um, so 25 minute dominator as you can see um, I think we showed you this yesterday we've got we got um, a, a perfect buy signal here um, for the rally up and then we actually got a really good sell signal which um, this was today actually um, on this candle just here um, so you can see the sell signal um, basically took us pretty much straight down um, let me just show you how far it took us down so from here um, took us down about one and a half percent and now we are roughly roughly around about the about ish the same level about half percent down But we'll see where this goes. Obviously we've broken through DMT um, 25 minute dominator is a sell um, up to a pretty strong level over a hundred here. So So you would expect a bit of a, a sell-off here based on these indicators um, Over to Ethereum Ethereum 15 minutes not taking a sell yet it got close uh, got very close Ethereum obviously as we know um, is pretty strong recently um, It's not quite as down as much as Bitcoin today, but it is marginal. It's, it's close um, But yeah, so um, Still in there still you still um, no DMT sell there 15 minute dominator though um, <laughs> Didn't get you in the greatest position to sell and got you into a sell at that dip um, which so you would currently be um, you you currently be um oh, what, what is this even draw this is trying to square isn't it oh we don't need that undo um right here we go we'll do it again so you'd currently be um about just under two percent you would have got about 2.5 nearly three percent offside but obviously if you're running the dmt for ethereum you would know that you're going to run it on the wider wider stops and wider take profits because obviously it's increased volatility um so there you go over back over click back over to bitcoin um yeah so in bitcoin in my actual um my actual um non-bot account so my manual trading account um as you guys um know i'm still working this short um from the drop out of here um from the drop we'll just go to eight hour that'll do won't it um, from the drop out of this wedge here and um, I pretty much show you this you guys this every time don't I rising price action declining volume and um, it's a pretty um, it's a pretty picture perfect um, rising wedge straight rising channel e both bearish both bearish formations the only thing that isn't perfect about it is it's not at the perfect sell level it didn't quite get up to around here which would have been a, a fantastic sell level we seem to be dropping out but maybe we'll get that second win to get us up where up there and then drop out maybe we'll get that second win and fly up i mean the halving's coming so expect the unexpected um so we'll see what happens there uh, um but um but yeah still working that short so um i think i've been keeping you guys updated this is the fourth iteration of this short trade so if we go to a um a smaller a, a shorter time frame here um in fact if we go up to 25 and i crunch this down a bit um it was it was roughly around here um that we got out of the got out of the trade um this i think it was actually before this um before this wick down this got us in the cell yeah um if i zoom in a bit more here this wick down was when I originally started selling this formation. If we look at the overall formation, it's basically when we started to come out of the wedge. And I got we got a 25 minute dominated sell, which was basically this sell here, this red sell. So basically, um, I shorted some, took some profits on this dip down, shorted again, because obviously you can see 25 minute dominator was staying in a sell. Um, 
was um <laughs> I've lost where we are now. <laughs> um where were we? Um yeah, sorry here. So you can see the dominator stayed in the cell after we went down. So then I add I re, re um I put on basically the rest of the short position. Um, I basically entered my positions in normally in quarter quarter amount. So I took some off and then added added more on, took some off and this dipped down, um, added more on and then I pretty much took it all off on about I think it was about six thousand seven hundred, then added added again and then took it off and then this is my fourth. So this is my fourth time one two three fourth time of selling so i actually started selling around just over seven thousand in this and then sold at seven thousand seven thousand one hundred ninety and then I had orders in seven thousand two hundred ninety which i had them in this initial run up here to um i mean it looks like it's it traded there but it didn't um it didn't fill me yeah two yeah eighty five so five dollars off so i didn't get that order but um so then I removed that order when we went up the second time because I'm not a, a massive fan. I'll take I'll take the short at the level the first time we go, but if you consolidate relatively high and then go back up, I'm not I'm not as interested in putting the extra risk on then. I'll just see if we hit my stop or not. Because obviously if we keep touching, we're more likely to go up, aren't we? Um but that wasn't what happened, we came down. So I have now um I had a hundred percent of my position on. Um anyway. Um which was part of also another reason why I didn't add on here because I got a bit impatient down here and added some more on. Um, more on. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, like, like a more on. Um, but anyway, so, but we came up, so I didn't add there. Um, and then what I have done, I've taken 25% of the position off on this dip down too. Um, I think it was, it was, um, I literally put it off because it, it was let me see i don't want to I'm, I'm sure i took it off and i must have taken it off on this dip here because i did take it off at 7070 i was gonna say it hasn't traded there but yeah 7070 um and that was um just because that was just a, a bit on side of my position so i took a quarter off there um and then what i have actually done is i have re-added that quarter on um at um what was um seven thousand one hundred and sixty two and a half obviously i know that because I've, I've just done it not long ago um which it, it traded a little bit above um but that's roughly this little bit of the top at the moment so i am 100 percent sure again obviously hoping we're going to come off because i don't have any other bullets to sell higher up um i'm just only going to basically stop out if we go up um but we'll see what happens i mean eventually we, we're going to get a move maybe it's down um but yeah a lot of the lot higher term time frame indicators um chart patterns um a lot of things on the higher time frames are bearish so um we will see we'll see what happens uh but anyway so yeah sorry to um bored bored you guys with that with that in-depth explanation of, of what i'm trading in my in my in my non-bot account um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing. I'm basically working the short. I want to catch this trade. I mean, I've already caught it a few times from 7,200 to 6,700, which is basically $500. So I'm after like another $500 at least move. But apart because I've because I built up this sort of profit in this trade already, um, I will be. I wouldn't. I don't mind so much. Um, only maybe taking half the position off around around this level, and then seeing if I can just run the rest of it if we go through. If we brace it, basically do break down further than five hundred dollars but we'll have to see what happens at the time and there's nothing to say that is going to happen um but i feel like i pushed my luck we're getting in and out of this position and if we are going to break down this time i mean look low lower low lower low if we break down to another basically around this level again i feel that we will then basically take out this low and then just we'll, we'll proceed to um maybe high five thousands down here and um, that's what I, I think may happen so we'll see we'll see what happens but like I said we're, we're not far from the highs here anyway you could argue um, low lower lows etc well not really here but you could argue, I mean this, we are consolidating at the recent time frame highs so that is not bearish um, obviously we do know Bitcoin has a has a has a penchant for um, for bar formations so we could very much see a bar down but um, more conventionally speaking colors consolidating at highs like this isn't isn't the most bearish thing to do so 
and obviously our correlations with stock markets that have been pretty strong and that at the moment if we look on weekend wall street we're opening um well we're opening a little bit higher on the dow so that's at the moment anyway i mean futures can very easily open this evening and then get absolutely whacked um so i mean there's a there's a there's um yeah there's a long time between when futures open and then when the cash market opens uh, which is obviously the more important market um but yeah but basically my point is stocks are strong and they had a very strong close and they're looking stronger at the moment based on their futures and obviously we know there's a strong correlation between uh, bitcoin and stocks so that could very realistically push us up and then we may end up getting around this level so i'll end up stopping out my trade above 7300 um and yeah and then i'll wait have to just wait and assess to see what's going on um if that happens probably end up taking long long trades um with the with the actual bot account um so that'd be great and um, the bot account's been working really well with actually my overall position because it's taken it's taken a good good a good couple of long trades um which is basically um well hedge my hedge my short at those periods of time which is good because it means that i'm not losing any money so it's fantastic um, but yeah, so we'll see what happens there. Um, anyway, so yeah, remember, this is not a financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research. I've got a couple of other um, video ideas that I'm going to do. Um, I basically have um, I basically have a Twitter here. Uh, let me show you. Here we go. Um, I don't really follow many people, but I feel like I do follow um, the most. I have to go into my profile. Here we go. I think I do feel like I follow, I only follow 49 people, but I follow, um, and I don't really use much, I just look on it, I don't go, to, I don't tweet much, but I'm going to start tweeting my videos and things on here. going to start utilising this more, because I think Twitter is a good thing to use. Um, so here, trading with Dan at Twitter, on Twitter. Um, but I do follow some um, um, pretty good um, macro um, um, economists, um, traders like um, hedge fund managers, um, basically um, finance people. Um, and what I will do is um, probably maybe do a review each day of um, of, of the tweets um, of what's going on, what's been said by these various people. Um, so yeah, if I show you through, I mean I can show you through some of these people. I don't necessarily need to. You may have heard of some of them. Um, then a lot of them aren't necessarily Bitcoin people. I mean, I mean the closest I think to Bitcoin people are probably um, well Max and Max Kaiser, Max Kaiser and Stacey Herbert, um, and. Well, Alessio Rostini, I guess he's he's a Bitcoin guy, um, but other than that, these are mainly more mainstream economists, um, mainly people that um, that do um, know what they're talking about. So I may review that. So it may not be the most interesting thing for just pure Bitcoin traders, um, but I think it will be a useful section generally for people to um, people to um, um, basically know about. So. So anyway, so right there you go. Um, yeah, feel free to follow me on Twitter if you want, guys. Um, but yeah, I'll probably start um, on Monday actually. Um, probably start on Monday with my um, Twitter reviews, um, Twitter reviews, um, and then yeah, um, I say Twitter reviews, just basically a review of the of the interesting, important tweets that have been out that day. Uh, but yeah, so right, <laughs> finally, I'm done. I'm done, guys. Right, I'll speak to you guys tomorrow.